Rapunzel and Paper Prince Magic. Once upon a time, in the lush green countryside, there lived a very beautiful girl named Rapunzel. She rode her horse in the forest to welcome Prince Rob, who was coming from a very long way. Rapunzel had a kind heart, so when her horse got tired, she decided to stop a while and rest. Rapunzel, do you think when I manage to make the dragon Drado laugh, will the spell on me really break? If the evil witch Camilla told us the truth, then yes, Clapsy. After their rest, Rapunzel and Clapsy mounted up and continued riding again. Prince Rob had missed Rapunzel very, very much and was looking for them. Come on, Rapunzel, where are you? At that moment, the prince saw someone approaching. Thinking it was Rapunzel, he shouted out. Hey, hoo-hoo, I'm here. I'm here, Rapunzel. Hey. But he was mistaken. It was not Rapunzel. It was Camilla, the evil witch. <laughs> We're very close to the prince, your majesty. It's time to cast the aging magic. Camilla got off her flying broom before approaching Prince Rob. She used her magical gold fan to cast a spell on her face. The magical wind of the fan turned Camilla into a very old woman. Who would not want to help such an adorable old woman? <laughs> As the smoke faded away, Camilla started walking towards the prince. Oh, alas, she is not Rapunzel. When Prince Rob realized that the person approaching was an old lady, he immediately went over to her and asked if she needed anything. Oh, son, yes, yes, I really need your help. Just say the word, I will do whatever I can. Listen, Sonny, I received a letter from my brother, but I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, ma'am. Why can't you read? Come closer and take a look at my eyes, sunny boy. Prince Rob had a close look at the old woman's eyes and saw that the eyes could not stay still. They were whirling. Ah, I get it now. So you want me to read this letter, right? Because you're having that issue with your eyes. Yes, kind-hearted Sunny. Please read. But let me also say that my ears don't hear too well either. Well, that's no problem, ma'am. I can just read the letter loudly. Disguised as an old woman, Camilla handed the piece of paper to Prince Rob. Hmm, this letter is written so small, I might have a little difficulty. Come. Closer, Sunny, to the paper. Prince Rob looked very, very closely at the paper and started to read. It's tinier than tiny, whiter than white, more striped than striped, more inked than ink, and very light like a feather. If you look closer, it will cut you as a paper. Huh? Before long, smoke surrounded Prince Rob and suddenly turned into a piece of paper. Huh? The prince had not just read a letter, but the words of an evil spell. <laughs> Look at him, Broomy. A paper prince. <laughs> Your magic worked, your majesty! <laughs> Prince Rob was left there as a piece of paper. Camilla got on her flying broom broomy 
and immediately ran away. But she didn't realize that she had dropped the paper with the spell on it. And then Rapunzel finally galloped to Prince Rob. As soon as she saw the paper shape of the prince, she was very confused. My prince, what happened? What did this journey do to you? No, Rapunzel, the prince looks like a piece of paper. Yes, just like a piece of paper, thin, light, and... At that time, a very strong wind blew. Prince Rob could not stand the wind and began to fly in the air like a piece of paper in the wind. For that's what he was. Oh no, this wind will take the prince away. Just as the wind was carrying Prince Rob towards the river, Rapunzel caught the prince in one move by using her long hair. Oh, that was close, Clapsy. Rapunzel saved the prince from getting wet in the river. But then dark clouds began filling the sky. Well, great. And now it's going to rain. If the prince gets wet, we may never be able to save him. Rapunzel decided to take the prince and go to the castle with his horse quickly. But Clapsy shouted after her and stopped her. Hey, Rapunzel, wait! Look! I found a paper on the ground! Rapunzel picked up the paper Clapsy had found and realized that there were magical words written on it. It's tinier than tiny, whiter than white, more striped than striped. Rapunzel, stop! Don't read those words! Otherwise you might be affected by magic too! Ah! Yes! Maybe if we tear up the paper it might break the spell before it rains, Clapsy! Do you think it'll work? Rapunzel tore the magical paper into many pieces and then called out for her friend, the dragon named Drado. Drado! Hearing Rapunzel's voice, Drado flapped his huge wings and came to Rapunzel. Drado, we don't have much time. With your strong fire, you have to turn these pieces of paper into ash right away. Drado opened his mouth wide to fulfill Rapunzel's request. and turned the magical pieces of paper to ash with the flame that he blew. And it worked. Prince Rob was freed from the spell, and he turned back into a human again. He didn't even realize what had happened to him. Rapunzel, you finally arrived. I haven't seen you for months. My prince, I missed you so much. I hope we are never apart that long again. As the dark clouds began to rain on them, Prince Rob and Rapunzel hugged each other in love and vowed never to leave again. And Camilla, the evil witch, who saw their happiness through the glass globe, was furious because those whose hearts are full of evil could never be happy. And those whose hearts are full of love live happily ever after. I had the strangest dream, Rapunzel. It was like I was very thin 